Hello! What's up guys? It's me, your old friend, Tanner Babcock here, coming at you with another YouTube video. Uh, this one's gonna be a little shorter than usual. I just wanted to show everyone this cool uh, Wayland compositor I found called Sway FX. Yes, this is the compositor that I'm using right now. Um, I would like to promote my website first, though. This is uh, my website, tannerbabcock.com. Uh, I have all kinds of stuff on here, all kinds of Linux stuff. Uh, all of my music is on here, and uh, all of my artwork is on here, too. So, yes, please check out my website, tannerbabcock.com. There is always going to be a link to this in my uh, video descriptions. But yeah, I'm going to talk about this, uh, this repository, this project called Sway FX. Yes, that is what I'm using right now. You may have noticed the, uh, the rounded corners here around my, uh, my face. <laughs> and uh, you might also notice some, uh, some blur on these windows. You know, if I, all of these windows have rounded corners now, and uh, you know, I can drag them around. They have a little blur for the transparent windows, and there is also a, uh, a shadow, a very fine shadow around each of these windows. So uh, that is something that's really cool that this repository does. Uh, this project has features that uh, the original Sway does not have, and uh, these are all of the features. So see if I uh, if I run a Neo fetch here, it says I'm using Sway, and I am using Sway actually. I'm a uh, I'm going to show you all how to download this repository and compile it so you can use Sway FX for yourself. I'm sure for those of you who use Arch Linux, uh, Sway FX is available on the AUR, but uh, I'm just going to clone this repository. It's from Willpower3309. Sway FX. So I'm just going to clone this. I'm going to CD into Sway FX. Let's take a look at this repository. And yes, this is just a typical uh, Mason project. So uh, I'm going to run that right now. I'm going to type Mason setup build. And uh, that's going to configure this project. And yep, it's ready to go. Uh, if you're compiling stuff on your own personal machine, you may have to download uh, dependencies and development files so that uh, your computer knows how to compile uh, source code like this and Wayland source code and you know, stuff like that. But yeah, I'll run ls again, and now there's a, a new directory here called build. I'm gonna go into the build directory. I'll type ls here. And uh, yeah, so if I want to compile this, I'm going to type a uh, ninja. Ninja and then J2, so that I tell Ninja to uh, to have two different threads going, two different threads compiling at the same time. I'm going to hit Enter, and it is going to compile Sway FX. <clears throat> yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this. Uh, the past several months, I've been basically living in a uh, hyperland. But uh, I really enjoy using Sway FX. I mean, it looks and feels a lot like Hyperland, just without the uh, all the animations and stuff. 
but you know it has these rounded corners. Uh, I just did this rice uh, yesterday. This is a brand new rice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Here's my cute browser. You now if I want to make this a floating window, I can do that. Sway FX has all of the features, all of the original key bindings. Uh, it can do everything that Sway does because it is a fork of Sway. And it, uh, it follows the original Sway repository very closely. This was last updated two weeks ago, so it's a pretty cool it's still actively maintained. It doesn't have a whole lot of uh, stars yet, but, you know, I was able to download it and compile it, and, yeah, see, Ninja is done now. So I'll do LS again. There's all the, uh, the man pages. You can just go into these directories for Sway, type ls, Sway, you know. There's the, uh, the executable binary. It is still just called Sway. I think the idea is uh, you want to take this binary and uh, place the original existing Sway. Uh, binary on your system with, you know, what you just compiled here. And this Sway FX repository. So, you know, I would do something like sudo cp sway, you know, user bin sway. Except, uh, you know, it's not always a good idea to do that, to just mess around in your slash user slash bin directory. I mean, don't, don't mess around in that directory. So you might want to back up uh, your original sway, sudo cp user bin sway, you know, user bin sway old. <laughs> you know, and type in your password, and you can just do something like that to kind of back up the original uh, binaries in case they don't work for whatever reason. But yeah, this Sway FX project will uh, compile the, uh, the Sway program itself, as you can see right there. We'll also compile Sway bar. There is a Sway bar here. <laughs> so uh, you're going to want to replace, obviously, you're going to want to replace, uh, you know, the sway bar executable in your slash user slash bin. Or you could just put these binaries in, a, in another directory in your path. And, you know, you can run them from there. I'm pretty sure this has Nix. Yes, it has a flake. If you use the Nix package manager or a Nix OS, you will be able to uh, compile and install Sway FX that way. I think there might actually be. It says there's a void Linux package for Sway FX now. I mean, I didn't really do it that way. I just cloned the repository and compiled it. I think it's good to compile your own software, you know, anyway, for, for lots of different reasons, but <clears throat> yeah, it looks like this is available. Uh, like I said, it's available on the AUR, and it's available in uh, free BSD ports, and uh, it's also in uh, Nix packages, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully this package... Uh, will make its way into the repositories for, you know, Ubuntu and Debian and Fedora and distributions like those. So yeah, when you use a Sway FX as opposed to the traditional Sway Wayland compositor, uh, there's a few more configuration options uh, that are available. 
All of these config options are listed right here. This is my Sway configuration file. So you can see I start up a pipe wire. I, uh, I tell it all of my outputs and you know what wallpapers to use. Here's my devices. So this right here, Vim is telling me that this is, you know, this is wrong. This is an error. That's why it's highlighted in red like that. Because uh, it, uh, Vim understands the Sway configuration file, and it understands that this isn't a part of the, the Sway configuration file. You know, that's why there's perfect syntax highlighting for everything else, and uh, there's this red, ugly red right here. But these are all of the options. <clears throat> if you want to enable the blur, you would just type a uh, blur enable or blur disable. If you want to change the, uh, the blur radius to make it uh, blurrier, <laughs> you can do that. That's just an integer. You can enable or disable the, uh, the shadows, the drop shadows, which I really like. There's uh, the corner radius or border radius for the, uh, the rounded corners. Uh, you can specify the shadow color in, uh, and, uh, with the alpha channel. I'm pretty sure this is RGBA. It might be ARGB. No. No, it's RGBA. But uh, yeah, you can specify the shadow color. And there's a few other options here. You also have the option to uh, dim, to kind of, uh, yeah, just dim the inactive windows, like uh, how Hyperland does. As you can see, when I move my mouse pointer off of my face, my face gets a little bit darker. <clears throat> that is a pretty cool feature of Sway FX. But yeah, this is all. These are all of the new config options that uh, that Sway FX has that the original Sway does not have. But the, I mean, here's the rest of my config file. <laughs> I have quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff going on here. You know, I got my Emacs daemon. I got my uh, my Waybar. I got my Wob. There's my Wob bar. Uh, I gotta run Mako for my notifications. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty comfy cozy. I mean, I don't have any problems or any issues at all just using uh, Sway FX as opposed to Sway. These are all of the options here, and it tells you a uh, all of the dependencies you're going to need to uh, to compile the project. I think I'm just going to look at the original Sway. Sway has come a long way. <laughs> I mean, Sway is really, I think, just kind of the default option for the, uh, the tiling Wayland's compositor. <clears throat> you know, that goes with the tiling window manager, tiling Wayland compositor. Uh, Sway is the best choice. Uh, all of your applications and services are going to be more likely to work on Sway as opposed to, you know, Hyperland or River or LabWC. Uh, Sway, <laughs> almost everything works on Sway. So yeah, I cannot recommend the, the Sway Wayland Compositor highly enough. Uh, I also highly recommend this fork, Sway FX. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, I think I'm going to keep using it instead of the traditional Sway. So yeah, 
I'll show off my website one more time and you now then I'm gonna wrap it up. Please check out my website, tannerbabcock.com. There's all kinds of stuff on here. There's uh, album reviews, film reviews, there's uh, tutorials that I've written. Uh, there's all kinds of Linux stuff on here. All of my music is on here. Uh, just, I would really appreciate it if you uh, checked it out. Uh, follow me on GitHub. Uh, come check out my Discord server. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And, uh, thank you very much for watching. Peace.